wrote a book about it. It's called Walking Cure. Okay. And because I wrote it as a patient, not as a doctor, a mm -hmm. lot of people looked at it. It became an Amazon bestseller. Hey, John, how are you? Fine. I haven't seen you in like a year, huh? Yeah, exactly. So he's been trying to cut it, right? You've been trying to cut it. Mm -hmm. But uh, the nails are pretty long, and then you got some calluses here. You got some calluses here. Some here, here, here. And all of them, huh? So we're gonna take care of all this, right, John? Okay. Okay, very good. So you were telling me that uh, somebody bought you some tools to exactly. take care of this, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened? Just too uh, difficult. It's too difficult. Yeah, you know, just uh, during my journey, I've been, I've been a labor and I have back problems. Oh yeah, back yeah. issues, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I can go down there, but I can't even stay there. Yes. <laughs> you can't stay there. <laughs> That's not good. You may get stuck. Yeah. Right. You can come down, but can't go back. That's right. Oh boy! So, what kind of tools do they buy you? Um, nail not cutters. Just, just not professional, but some of the type of tools that you, that you have is like like this one that I have. Yeah, but you have it's in a, it's in a package, you know. Oh yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. And then that that's 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 tough, huh? Yeah. 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 So, what kind of work did you do? Um, Were you a construction, construction guy? Or? Construction guy? Yeah. Lifting all, a lot of stuff? All fields and all. Yeah. Many years of labor, huh? Many. Yeah, so, before then, as a child, you know, I thought my stepfather was a uh, hall furniture. Oh, is that right? Oh, that's a tough one, too. That's a tough one, yeah. Yeah. So, as a kid, I did, you know, all, all the labor. Oh, really? Wow. I say You had to be strong, yeah. right? Yeah. So, how did you hurt your back? Was it just over time? Over time. Yeah. yeah. So what what kind of problem? You have a lot of pain there, or? Uh, it's difficult to um, bend it over. It's just pain there. Yeah. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. How about just every day, just walking around and stuff? Not that bad. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I, I try not even think about it. It's pain. Uh huh. To describe it is, I can say it's pain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about like uh, lifting stuff? You can't do too much, no, huh? No, no, no. no, huh? Yeah. You know, I had a severe back pain myself. Mm -hmm. About, uh, how was it, about uh, 11 years ago now. Mm -hmm. And actually, in fact, uh, my, my disc collapsed and I, uh, I was paralyzed. Oh, really? Yeah. So I didn't know because I never had a back problem. So I went to the doctor and we got an MRI and they, he told me that I broke my back years ago. I didn't know, because I didn't have any symptoms. So the- No pain? No pain, I didn't have any pain. I used to do a lot of martial arts, you know? Okay. I thought I was Bruce Lee, you see? <laughs> Apparently I wasn't. Yeah. But uh, I was teaching martial arts too, so I was, um, I had to, I had to look tough, you know. Right. I right. cannot show pain, you right. see. Okay, I got it. I got it. So even with the pain, apparently I didn't, I didn't feel like I had pain. And one day it collapsed, mm. and then um, I was paralyzed. I couldn't move. I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't do anything for for a while, you know. So the reason I'm telling you is this: I I bought the uh, inversion machine, which is the upside down machine. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with that? Yeah, you it, you it. hang upside down. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things that helped me cure my back problem, even okay. though I was paralyzed. I didn't want surgery. Okay. They wanted to do surgery. I didn't want that, right? So what I did was I started walking five miles a day, mm -hmm. and then I go upside down, which I still do now. Every day, in the morning and night, I go upside down for three minutes each. What that does is that it it extends the um, it opens. Pulls the yeah, it opens right. up the yeah disc, yeah. where and then the water and oxygen gets in and regenerates your disc actually, mm -hmm. which is the problem. Most people have disc problem okay. because it over time it, it wears out, you know. Right. Especially you know you've done right. a lot of right. labor work, you know. So that's something that I recommend: walking and going upside down. And anybody can do it. You don't have to go all the way upside down, but uh, I highly recommend if you have back problem because uh, it, it'll, it'll help you a lot, it will help me. I just go, I just actually, uh, funny you mentioned that, because I used to, uh, about 10 years ago, 
for about 10 years. I used to go down to the beach, drive down to the beach, and walk early in the morning, watch the sunrise. Oh, really? Oh, that's beautiful, back, huh? Come back in the evening, watch it go down. What I did, I made, I'm saying this point, I'm making it like, I did a lot of walking then, but I was younger. No, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, and it helped. It helped uh, um, in a whole lot of ways. Bowel movements. Um, Everything, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah. But, as, as, I gotta say that back is nothing but I can't even tell you where the pain is really at. Yeah, they have just yeah. everything, huh? Yeah, but see, like bending over like that, I can't uh, sit like you sitting. I can't do that anymore. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. I highly recommend going back to do the walking. Yeah. Um, it sounds like you had a good routine going. Yeah, I I I keep saying I'm gonna do it. <laughs> well, you haven't done it. I haven't done it. <laughs> well, I think it's time to do it now. Yeah, I yeah. think you you have enough pain now. Yeah. yeah. You were doing it before, you were doing well with it. Yeah. I, I highly recommend you do that, yeah. so. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it helps in a lot of ways. Yeah. So. Energy-wise. Uh, yeah, energy-wise. Yeah. It just makes everything work, you know, work better, even right. your brain. Right. It helps your uh, brain uh, improve as well. Yeah. So I wrote a book about it, it's called Walking Cure. Okay. And because I wrote it as a patient, not as a doctor, a mm -hmm. lot of people looked at it. It became an Amazon bestseller. Oh. Yeah, you can find it on Amazon. It's called Walking Cure. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it showed how I did it every day, you know. I, I would walk five miles a day, divide it up first thing in the morning, after lunch, and after dinner. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then going upside down, and I put all my routines there as well. And uh, it really helped me. I didn't have to have surgery. Okay. You know? When I'm tired, uh, my right foot where the injury was still mm -hmm. burns a little bit. Right. But other than that, I don't have a whole lot of pain like I used to, you know? So. I, I, actually, you know what made me uh, stop? Mm -hmm. Like, um, and like I said, in the evening, I'll go back and I walk in, then I'll be covered up. Then I start sweating. And so when I uh, get in the car, I take off my hat and let the window down, uh -huh. and I call pneumonia. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, and so that, that's what really stopped me because I enjoyed the walking, exercising, yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. But after I caught the pneumonia, then I got a blood clot in my lung. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, wow. Like all at the same time. So it, it, it wore me down. It wore me way down. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, um, when was that? Uh, it's about 10 years ago. Oh, was that right? Oh, years wow. ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. And that's why I say I haven't, haven't really got back to myself. And I put it now. I'm now beginning to put it on my legs, but I, I, <laughs> <laughs> but I know what what you're saying is uh, exercises. I I feel I felt what you what you what you're talking about. I know exercises is it's yeah plenty helpful. You know, yeah, I just can't get back to. I just won't get back to it. I say can't. Yeah, yeah. I think you should. Yeah, that'd be beautiful to watch the sunset and sunrise. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every day. Yeah. By the way, the 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 red light that are coming out during those times are very, very soothing and very healthy for us, mm -hmm. actually. I, I call it the light therapy. And uh, when you when you get the sunrise, the, all that sun energy, right. first thing in the morning and the evening time, and that really energizes you yeah. in a deep cellular level. So yeah. I highly recommend, I like that routine that you just told me. That's an excellent, excellent routine. Yeah, I highly recommend it. Yeah, I, I, I'm, well, I say I messed up by uh, not keeping, well, I was like 200 pounds then. Oh, is that right? Oh. Yeah, and so by the Right now, you look thin and you look yeah, great. Yeah, I'm 170 now, but. Uh, yeah, you look great. Uh, but I was in good shape at 200 pounds. Is that right? You know, oh, I, yeah, I, yeah. I had no gut, you know, none of that. Oh, really? Uh, All muscle? All muscle, yeah. Oh, okay, well. And um, well, what I messed up was the sweating part. I didn't take care, of, that's how I caught pneumonia. Right, you know, right. I didn't protect myself fully, and I, it, 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 do, it didn't knock me on my butt. I was in the hospital for two weeks. Right. And, um, yeah. It kind of scared me. Yeah, no, I think it's, now the, 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 the time is different now, so yeah, I think I, it's... I know what to do now. I need to keep, go home and, and continue sweating and get in the shower and, you know, calm and cool down. Yeah, exactly. Slowly. Exactly. You know, right. Not too fast, huh? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, so I'm going to see you out there soon, right? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. How, how far was the walk? 
Uh, I started cheering going way down to the Olympic, the mm-hmm. Olympic pool down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was quite a fun, fun walk, yeah. About two hours. Oh, two hours, hours really? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That's about, two hours is about a good six, seven miles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll be excellent. Yeah. If you can do two hours a day, mm-hmm. boy, that'll make a huge difference on your yeah. heart, your muscles, your energy level. Mm-hmm and your clarity in your brain, it helps everything, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I highly encourage everybody to walk more. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we just get in the car and go, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, and that, what I got. I, that's what you call lazy, that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and then everybody's fighting for the parking space, right? Right. Just to save like a couple steps there, right. like everybody's like waiting for the parking, you know? Yeah. You, should, uh, you should park far out, you know? Yeah. Far away from the... Uh, the entrance so you get the exercise and it's less crowded yeah. you don't have to wait for anybody you know but nobody's parking way out there you know that because that all adds up you know right. a little bit of walking there you know right. and then taking the stairs you know right. rather than taking the elevator if it's a couple stairs you know mm-hmm. that also adds up you know everybody's just just so easy just doing nothing right. yeah so we you all need to walk and exercise and move so I do highly recommend people just doing that, but you've done it in the past, so you can just pick it up and go, you know? Yeah? You if, it's to... problem, if it's problem with you, just give me a little bit of motivation. Next time you see me, you're going to be walking. I'm going to be walking. All right. Okay. Yeah. Take some pictures while you're out there with the sunset and sunrise. Okay. All right. Show me the pictures. I will. Proof that you did it, and then show me some good energy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right? All right. Yeah. Yeah, I highly really encourage everybody to walk. If you happen to be watching this video or listening to this, our conversation here, it's very important that all of us move and walk more now. All of us have been in the house too long now, a couple of years, and people are just not getting out there, getting the good sun and good air and uh, energy out there, you know? And it's free on top of that, right? You don't have to join the gym. You don't have to pay for the equipment, right? You just get some shoes and walk. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So, especially if you're getting the sunrise and sunset, oh boy. That'll be something else, huh? True. Yeah. So, it's really, really good. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up so that we can tell people that we need to walk more. We need to move more. We need to be outside more, you know? I appreciate the motivation. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. All right, your nails looking better? <laughs> yeah, so very good. Thanks for allowing us to film you today, John. Mm-hmm. I'll see you soon. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks.